Hello guys, Adek Masi here, and uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how to buy the PLC Ultima coin uh, from Coinsbit. So you can see I'm already in my Coinsbit um, uh, account here, and all I've done is I've clicked on wallet here, and I've clicked on uh, balance. So it's showing all my wallets. You can see I've also transferred, you know, $201 into this um, wallet. If you don't know how, if you have not done this, what you need to do is click on deposit. When you click on deposit, it will open up another window. Let me show you that quickly, where you can deposit your money. So let's say you have USDT on Binance or any other place. You need to find a way to get crypto. All right, so what I did was I bought crypto with, this is Binance. I bought crypto with Binance and then I came here on Coinsbit, you know, to this deposit page, click on USDT, then select the payment method. Make sure you're using CRC20. You can see there are different options there. So don't use ERC, that is Ethereum network. The network fees are high and it's slow. Uh, make sure you are using CRC20. That is Tron Network. So click on that and then it will show you, you know, the address and a QR code. So you can pay with the QR code or with the address. So for this example, I'll just copy the address here, yeah? then go over to my Binance. I'll paste it into the address box. You know, I'm here, I'm withdrawing, right? And then I will select the same network, TRC20. You can see it here. And then I would enter the amount and then I would send, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how you get your money into Coinsbit. So now, assuming you've done all that, you, your money arrives here. It's going to arrive in an account called main. You can see it at the top here. So that's like your main wallet. But before you can trade, before you can buy and sell on the exchange, you, you need to transfer that money into your trading wallet still on this exchange, there's no transaction fee for this transfer. So what your balance in this trading wallet is what you can use to buy and sell. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this button to transfer this $201 into um, my trading account. So it should open, so it's telling me how to transfer to trade and I'm transferring maximum, that's everything, right? So I click on transfer, it's going to move the entire balance uh, from main into trade. All right, so you can see that move there. So all my balance is right now um, inside trade. So from here, I'm going to go over to the trading window. I've already opened it, but um, how do you access this trading window? Okay, let me assume that you're starting from scratch. You just come to buy and you click on um, classic spot trading. So let's just do that from scratch. And then it's going to open the trading window. Um, if you don't have PLC, you already selected here, you can, you can come over to the left side under stable, right? Under stable, select USDT, right? Select USDT and then, so my computer is freezing a little just, all right? And then in the search by type PLCU, all right? So under stable coins, I selected USDT right and in the search bar so that's how you get the trading pair so you click on that and it will open up the plcu trading you can see the different orders going on right now the price is nine thousand nine hundred um, dollars so you come if you come down this is where you buy and sell you can see buy plcu sell plcu and you can see my balance in usdt so when you say you are buying PLCU, you're actually exchanging USDT for PLCU. 
that's the significance of this trading pair, PLCU slash USDT. So that's the exchange you're doing. So all we did was to buy USDT so that when we bring it to Coinsbit, we can exchange it for PLCU, which we need for obviously our money-making adventure. Um, so what we do here is you can actually click on 100%. 100% is going to use your entire balance, you know, to buy the coins. And it's going to show you exactly how many coins you are going to get. You can see it there. So you can do 75%, 50%, all right? That's 50% of this is $100, right? You can use any of these, or you can actually just type how much you want to spend. You can type in uh, dollars, I want to spend $10, to show you the amount you get, you can type uh, 0 0.02 to show you how much you spend, right? So let me just do 100% for this example. And then um, you can see this is the order book here, all right? This is the order book. And the next price, the available price, these are people that are willing to sell PLCU. And they are telling you, I'm willing to sell PLCU 2.7 PLCU at 9,900. The green is people that are willing to buy PLCU. So these are orders on the market. This person is willing to buy 0 0.01 PLCU at this price, all right? So since I want to sell, obviously I want to, I'm going to, uh, since I want to buy, I'm going to be going to the seller's market here. And the lowest price is 9,900. All right, so you can see he has 2.79. Once this guy has sold all his 2.79, this order will disappear and the next price you'll see is 9,910. So that's how prices go up, right? Once these orders are finished to start, you will see that the next price will be higher. Okay, so we are buying at 9,900 and we're going to be buying out of these guys 2.79, right? The amount we're buying is actually small, 0.02. So I click on buy. And if that goes successfully, my balance should go to zero here. And my PLCU balance should increase to 0 0.02. So let's wait for that. Okay, so uh, yeah, the money has moved in. I just had to refresh the screen and I, you can see my 0 0.02 PLCU balance is here. And um, my dollar balance has obviously been depleted. So what do you do next? Uh, we successfully bought PLCU. You need to go back to the wallet. If, that's, if you want to send now PLCU from Coinsbit into your wallet or into your farm. I recommend if you are doing it for the purpose of, of the 60% per month farm, I recommend you send directly into your, into your farm. Don't send to your wallet first before you send to your farm, all right? Because every transaction fee here is 3% on PLCU. So you don't want to be incurring transaction fees up and down. All right, you can see my balance here, PLCU. Um, 0 0.02. So if I was going to withdraw this, I will click on withdraw. And then I will click on withdraw. I will paste my uh, PLCU balance uh, wallet address. So you can get this from your farm. All right. If you have set up your farm, you can get the wallet address of your farm, put it here. You put in the amount or you can click max if that's the amount you want to do. But before you can send, make sure you actually send the money back from your trading wallet to your main wallet. You remember when we bought uh, USDT, we transferred from, I don't know if you guys remember, um, where is it? Let's go back to the wallet for a second. We transferred from main, to trading wallets. So 
before you can do any withdrawal, you have to transfer from trading wallet back to the main wallet. So you can do that here, or you can just do that right here and click all to main and do that. And then that sends all my money into the main, uh, into the main wallet, which is going to show up, you know, here. And then once you do that, you know, put in the address, put in the amount, and then you withdraw. All right. So that is how to use Coinbit Exchange. I hope this helped you. If you have more more questions, uh, feel free to drop a comment in this under this video, or you know, reach out to join the support groups, or reach out to your sponsor or team member for more um, more help. All right. So cheers, and I'll see you on the next video. God bless.